नमस्कार वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ इंडियन स्टूडेंट इन कैनेडा सीरीज सो इन दिस वीडियो आई वॉन्ट टॉक अबाउट दी स्ट्रगल्स द प्रॉब्लम्स दैट मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स विल हैव इन द बिगिनिंग दैट मे नॉट मेनी पीपल टॉक अबाउट दिस टॉपिक either in person or 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 on the video so that's why i want to really cover that i personally faced if you're you know sitting somewhere in india thinking of coming to canada you want to know the other side as well like you know the dark side that's very important of course you're going to go through them and then get into a better phase but you just need to be aware and be prepared make your mind prepared so that you know you're not like too surprised like me when i was like when i came here i actually didn't know any of these things i literally thought life is life will be so beautiful if i go there i i enjoy you know i'll have parties and um, go for pubs meet new girls white girls so many things i dreamed um and i make like lot of money dollar a dollar <laughs> lot of rupees so, so so many dreams that i came up with but like first few years was crazy crazy i was like literally sometimes i felt i even cried some days like i wake up from the sleep and i cried and i booked my flight didn't even tell my family i just flew to back home that that bad it was like initially so the first problem was like you know not many people realize guys you're literally leaving everything behind like your family your friends you're going to miss them so badly because your family your mom and dad like they used to do everything for us back home in india like you know um if you're now here all of a sudden you have to cook your own food you have to do your own laundry you have to do all your work by yourself on top of this to save money you you share with like six seven people an apartment and it's like so much noise you ha- you have good you have to make new friends from the beginning and of course how the connections will be right like you know if you have friends from your childhood they understand your you your positives your negatives so the the relation is lot more smooth there but here you come and share with new people 6 5 or whatever and then they don't know you well and you don't know them well and it's like so much the process of making that relation and you cannot share everything with them and you cannot share everything with your back home friends because now they think that you have everything so <laughs> that was a freaking hard challenge in the beginning for me um and then like you know the second thing was like the big thing were finding the jobs finding the part time jobs so if you watch my other videos on the series you know like my first job was like freaking hard finding a job was hard on top of it um when i'm after i moved to toronto after 6 8 months uh, i moved to toronto uh in toronto like finding a decent part time job was really hard like finding a service job so my initial jobs were like i list some of the jobs like that you will be scared like my first job i worked in a factory like first part time like full where i started to make money not the paper job the first job <laughs> so this was like i used to work 8 hours in a day because my college was only one day a week so this was like in a e-waste company where um, we go into the factory we will be given all the e-waste uh, you know material like tvs big big led tvs big big uh, you know all this electronics we have to scrap them like we have to, we have hammers mm, totally break them and separate the um, steel separate the bulb separate everything into different sections and you put it into a big box and you drag that box and put it into another room so it was like super labor intensive on top of that so much dust in that factory first of all working for 8 hours was new thing for me at least at that point because i never worked back home when i was all student and you know always parents used to give me money so that was a new thing and working for 8 hours that's one thing and on top of that some some days we used to work double shifts in a different factory so work 8 hours in this factory 
and go to another car factory where they make the seats we have to clean the wax that is like i think a uh, super hot so we, we we have gloves and everything but you work for 30 minutes and you take a break for 30 minutes that's like because the hot temperature if you stay for longer you will be like in trouble that hard and like it's that's a second shift like eight hours and then eight hours and one two hours for traveling and six hours for sleeping so that used to be our day, um, my days like in that um, you know when i was a student and after that job like I, I i worked there for six months or eight months and after that i found another job because that was like already i started to feel like so crazy so i found another job in a, a, a factory indian factory like indian groceries factory where all the groceries were packed and they shifted to the stores so this factory man i still remember they have like 20 kgs bags like you know you have to fill them with the atta the floor and then you have to put it into the skit continuously continuously pack the bags and put it so bag you to used to hurt so badly so i worked there for two months and left that one and this time even more <laughs> worse thing i found a job in near my you know um, room it was like a mortal so in this mortal i have to clean the toilets yeah i never even like packed my bed sheets back home now i i, I even did cleaning job like cleaning the toilet scary man and, and then like i went into a restaurant cleaning dishes cleaning mobbing the floors so super bad jobs you don't realize you you work all these hard jobs and especially like not in canada like there are not much clean jobs available for a lot of people so if you can find a service job you're lucky so we used to see like some of our friends used to work uh, in in a grocery store as a cashier so that's the nicest part-time job that you can have so we used to envy him if, if they have that kind of jobs but man one thing i realized is like you will learn so much through those hard life right so i um do i regret in working all those things no the reason i'm sharing this you know the that tough side of it because you you need to be aware of you you have to be willing to do whatever it takes to that's why now i appreciate the time like you know when when i get things when i'm making 300000 a year now i appreciate that hours you know now i know i'm i'm grateful for many people and and i'm grateful for all these things again this would happen to you as well if you are if if you make your mind so that's why i'm sharing and if you are a student in canada let me know i'm curious what type of jobs you worked i want to hear from you and if you're thinking to come to canada just be prepare your mind you just got to do whatever it takes to in the initial phases and then you'll get to the next level where you will get a decent job and then you'll get to the next level where you can invest and make more money just like i did so stay tuned you will be you will have life just prepare your brain and take actions so i'll see you in the next video talking more about my journey as a student to uh, close to a millionaire so see you in the next video have a wonderful day guys